Welcome to What's New with Carcassonne. Today let's go over Major Expansion 10 under the Big Top. As usual, take the 12 Circus Tiles and 8 Acrobat Tiles and add them to the tiles you will be using this game. Take the 16 Animal Tokens, shuffle the Animal Tokens, and place them in a face-down stack. Each player takes a Ring Master in their color and adds it to their supply. Then take the Big Top and place that near the animal tokens. Circus and acrobat spaces and roads and separate fields. When the first tile with the circus icon is drawn, take the top animal from the animal stack and place it face down on the circus icon. Then take the big top and place it on top of that. And if that tile caused any scoring, that would happen now normally. However, after that first tile, whenever any other circus tile is placed, first score any features that were completed, then score the circus on the previous tile. To do that, reveal what animal was on that token and give each player that amount of points on the tile itself and the eight surrounding. So this green would get five points. And a meeple that scored because of the big top remains where it is. After scoring the circus, remove the token from the game by placing it by the scoreboard. Then take the next token from the animal stack, place it face down on the new circus spot, and place the big top on top of that. At the end of the game, for end game scoring, score the circus one final time. And note for scoring, ringmasters count as meeples. When a circus gets scored, it counts the meeples that are a part of the acrobat tile. So in this case, red would get 5, 10, 15, 20 animal token points. When placing an acrobat tile, you can place your meeple in the roads or field as normal or on one of the acrobat spaces. The next time someone places a tile adjacent to that tile, whether orthogonally or diagonally, they have the option to place their tile on the next acrobat space. Once a third tile has been placed adjacent and that player decides to put a meeple on top of the previous two meeples, the pyramid is complete. No more meeples can be added to it. If a tile placed adjacent to an acrobat tile is itself an acrobat tile and you wish to play your meeple as an acrobat, you may choose which acrobatic space to place your meeple. When there are three meeples, that pyramid is ready to be scored. However, it does not get scored right away. Instead, a pyramid gets scored if a tile is placed, but the owner of that tile wishes not to place a meeple. So a pyramid is scored in place of place a meeple. And it's even possible for a player not related to the pyramid to score that pyramid and each meeple in the pyramid scores its owner five points per meeple. When a pyramid has been scored, it's still possible for players to place a meeple in the acrobat space. At the end of the game, for end game scoring, each meeple on an acrobatic space is worth five points, regardless of how far the pyramid has come. A ringmaster is just like a regular meeple in that he can be placed on a monastery, a road, laid down in the field, or placed in the city. He cannot be part of a pyramid. When a feature that the ringmaster is a part of gets completed, first score that feature as normal. Then for each circus and acrobat tile that the ringmaster is on or adjacent to, score two extra points. So in this case, two for six extra points. If the ringmaster was in a situation where they did not have majority of a feature, the one who holds majority scores the points for the feature, but the ringmaster still scores two bonus points for the circus and acrobat tiles it is next to. And the ringmaster still gets those points whether there's a big top, acrobats, or not. At the end of the game, the ringmaster still scores the two points per circus and acrobat tile that he is on and that surrounds him. Thank you for joining me to learn Carcassonne's 10th major expansion under the big top. I invite you to join me now as I do a playthrough 
then give it my Mega Kark ranking. And welcome back to Carcassonne. So today we are going through Under the Big Top. So to start, we have here player one, player two, for a two-player run-through. So uh, because my name is Richard, my wife's name is Jen, that's been done before. So I just go player one, player two. And what do we have here? We have these nice little ringmaster figures. What do they do? Well, they give us a special bonus points for circus and um, acrobatic tiles. And as always, I like playing with the Abbot so much that I uh, default to put them in as well. As intended, I'm pretty sure it was the intent. So we also have, oh, we do have our score meeples up here. Um, we also have our stack of animals that will be performing in the circus tent. So uh, how does that all work? What are, what are we even doing? Well, let's get started. So although I have shuffled up all the tiles and placed them randomly, I did, however, take out two tiles. I'm going to have player one demonstrate the circus and player two demonstrate the, um, the uh, acrobat. So I'm going to have player one draw a circus. Ooh, isn't that nice? So I'm going to just place that there. And to start, the very first one... Um, is just a regular placement. So all you do is just you grab your uh, circus, put that there. Actually, I think you're supposed to put your meeple on first, if I'm remembering right. But anyways, the circus gets placed is the point. Nothing else happens when the circus just gets placed. The game part, the, the what happens, is what uh, happens when you add a, another circus tile. Um, at that point, this will get taken off. Oh, this is, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to score. Okay, and when that happens, what you're supposed to do is score first, and then this would move to the next tile. So I'm just gonna hopefully get myself into a proper <laughs> habit of doing that. Um, you know, everyone's bound to mess up, so Okay, anyways, so here we are. So that is the circus on an animal. So underneath here is an animal that is worth some amount of points. So the next time a circus uh, is drawn, the, uh, the animal underneath will be revealed. However many points that is, we'll, get, uh, we'll go to the meeple that is on or around that tile, just uh, monastery rules. So if there's a meeple on those tiles, uh, that meeple will get that amount of points that is revealed under the animal. So that's nice to have a meeple around where the circus currently is to just get ran random, if you understand my meaning, bonus points. All right, sorry about that. I got a phone call and, okay, we're back is the point. So player two is going to demonstrate now the acrobatic tiles. So um, all the acrobatic tiles are roads. They're always going to be roads. That's neither here nor there. It's just fun fact, that's all. Okay, so um, let's just place it normally, and you can claim, actually, no. What you're going to do is place a meeple. You can place it perfectly normally on the road, or you can claim the field if you want, and that's it. Or you can take the one meeple you can place and place it on uh, the uh, acrobatic spot. And an acrobatic spot is nice because when it gets scored. Each meeple is worth five points. So uh, I don't know if there's anything more to say about that because five points is five points. Um, if you got, if you were the player that put the uh, a second meeple on the second spa uh, space, that's 10 points right there. And you don't have to be the same player. Green could put a tile on and they would get five points and red would get uh, 10 points if this were the case. You put three meeples on there, and the only thing with that is once this tower, once there's three meeples on it, the uh, the tower is done, but it doesn't get scored yet. This, this uh, pyramid only gets scored when um, a tile gets placed and you don't put on a meeple. So in place of putting a meeple, you then score the, you score the pyramid. So that is your, instead of placing a meeple, score a pyramid. Place a meeple on the, on the uh, acrobatic spaces to make a pyramid, or score 
once it is a pyramid. And then at the end of the game, it doesn't matter how many meeples are on there, at the end of the game, each meeple just gets five points. So you're either going to complete a pyramid and then eventually score it uh, during the gameplay, or you're just going to get five points at the end of the game. So the end of the game is kind of a mad dash to get uh, acrobatic spaces if you are able to place a space, uh, sorry, if you're able to place a, a tile by an acrobatic space. So I will give these back to their players. And that will be that. But player one is not done demonstrating because player one has this new figure, the ringmaster, right? So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to the opposite way to keep up my own way of thinking slash playing. So player one is going to place that there. So you have a ringmaster, right? So what the ringmaster is, the, the ringmaster is basically just a regular meeple, except you can't put it as part of the, uh, the uh, uh, pyramid here. Otherwise, though, you can put it in the city, you can lay it in a field, you can set it on the uh, road. Uh, is that it? Oh, uh, if a monastery were out, you, you could set this as just a regular meeple uh, anywhere. It also scores just like a regular meeple to start uh, at first. To start. No, yeah, to start. So let's let's place it in the city. So when this city gets completed, let's say we just put one of those uh, 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 half, you know, half uh, city pieces here and this scores four points. Indeed, what I just said is true. This ringmaster would score four points for uh, that city in this hypothetical situation. But let's say that's all that happened. What else? Surely the ringmaster does something else besides not being able to be a part of a pyramid. Yes, the ringmaster will also grant you two points for each acrobatic space that it is by and each circus space that it is by. And I'm talking about the tile. So even if this was not here, this is still a circus tile. So this ringmaster would still get two bonus points for this and of course if there was no meeple on the acrobatic space he would still get two uh, bonus points for that so yes same monastery rules the tile itself and then the the immediate surrounding ones so there is a chance not likely but there is a chance that he could score you know two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen points for having an acrobat or a circus completely surrounding him Again, not likely, but it could happen. So since we are able to have the potential to get extra bonus points, let's use the ringmaster for, for that. Even if we do get four, we'll actually get eight points. Uh, if my hypothetical situation did end up happening and we only got a half city there. Okay, so player two. What does player two want to do? Um, oh. Yeah, so, okay, I just want to make sure. So I wanted to use my ringmaster for this, and that's done. However, had I not put this ringmaster down, because uh, this tile is next to, again, with the monastery rules, the, one of the tiles around it, instead of placing a meeple there, I could have placed this meeple here to get that five points guaranteed. Um, but that is not what we wanted to do. We want at least eight points. I'm not going to be doing that kind of math during regular gameplay, but that is how that'll go. So what I'm saying is player two is liking the idea of having more city. More city or guys to put in here. Um, at this point, it's probably city is more worth it because you're going to be getting two, four, six, eight for just... It, for the minimal to have this completed um, with this shield. So yes, you, I, I can put this here or I can put this here, but at this point, I just choose to put that there. So player one uh, is going to full out demonstrate what I just said. So we're going to get four points for having placed that, uh, for having completed the city. And there is only one, two, acrobatic and or circus spaces so that's another one two one two all right 
Uh, yeah, so we take the ringmaster back and uh, have player two take their turn. And here we go. So let's maybe, let's do this. Let's not claim the road. One, two, three. Maybe it ends uh, just after this tile and we get four points. Or maybe I put this here and uh, this, when it's scored, we'll get 10 points. Cool. So green player one. I'm just thinking we do something like this or this. No, that's red. I don't want to be. Maybe let's see if we can uh, get a bit more circus economy going here. Or do I want to try this over here? Because this is still adjacent to just the one, right? So, uh, ah, okay. Player two, again with the straight road. You know what? Player two is going to go ahead and uh, complete a pyramid. None of the tiles have been stacked except for those first two I wanted to demonstrate. Everything else has been happening just because that really is what has been happening. So player one draws a straight road. And player one is thinking... Player one's kind of thinking. I'm just going to start this early. Player two. Okay, player two has this city already. Maybe let's not go for the road. Let's uh, play no meeple and take these three meeples to give ourselves all 15 points. Okay, so 15, red is suddenly in the lead. Okay, player one. Oh, player one. Uh, let's just go that way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Player two. Let's finish the city. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Two or six? Eight? Player one. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, player one can deal with that. So we're going to do this have another four points for this city and I'll just score this four points for this city and two for six points for the city that's 22 plus two points because this is on this tile for this one circus so another two points so is one ahead of uh, red now nice so player uh, red Red player, red player. The only way to get points off of this now is to uh, put it there, to get these now off there. Um, yeah, so it is possible, even though this was scored already, that a tile, in this case, could be placed there, and one meeple could be placed there. But obviously you're not going to be placing any more meeples there, and that meeple that's there is only going to be giving you points at the end of the game. So it's going to be sitting there all game waiting to give you five points because you will not be uh, finish a pyramid because you're not setting another tile beside it. That can happen. I'm just not convinced that's something I'd like to do. What are you doing, player two? I guess we'll do that. And take the city. Yeah? Yeah, take the city. You could bishop there. No, I'm not going to, though. Player one. Okay, I also want to make sure I am building up my field. And if I put a road out that way, then that opens up this. So I'm going to do that. So player two, road. 
Okay. Well, it's something. Maybe we can go that way. Layer one. Yes, let's do this. Layer two. Okay, that works for me. Now I'm going to put on the bishop, uh, abbot. I always call it bishop. That's just a me thing. I always call it bishop. Player one, road. Okay. I'm not especially cons... Oh. No. Or I could just go four points. Or... Oh, I don't want to close it off. Not so early. I'm going to do this. I will take the four points because I don't want to close one, two, three, four. I don't want to close my field up. One, two, three, four. So if I put that there, then that forces this to be closed. If I build straight here, this continues having the field open. If I put a curve road up there, that opens up up there and opens up down there and etc. So I don't want to do that. So player two is going to ooh, draw a circus. Okay, here we go. Now player two has, oh, this is done. One, two, three, four. Did I just give myself points? Oh, I act, okay. Green claimed this, but red already had it. Okay, so let us correct, oh, let us correct that. So one, two, three, four. And instead, red, it goes to 27. Okay, so now we're at red. What's red want to do? Uh, that's a good question. A circus. Mm. I want to do this. I have meeples here. Or I could do this. Yes, I have a meeple there. And the abbot counts as a figure that would score points when the circus scores. So if I kept the abbot there, then cool. I would get whatever amount of points for the abbot and the regular meeple. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to turn off the light because this is bugging me. Give me a sec. All right, and that's how it is. So, so these can score points, like I said. Moving on to this, this is how the circus works now. Uh, if I do that, yeah. So now this is going to move over there, but first let's score each meeple on or immediately surrounding the circus gets, in this case, four bonus points. And green has a meeple there. Now green, green gets one, two, three, four. I'm psychic. I did not know that this was four. I, this, that is actually shuffled up. Slash I just don't remember. Okay, so I'm just going to, oh, this four is done. So this is going to go there, but you also need to place another who knows what this is underneath. So uh, boom. Nice. So red is now hoping that uh, Circus 1 comes out soon and they can score extra bonus points of whatever that is. There is a Flea Circus that's worth one point. I mean, it's two more points than you would have, but there's also an Elephant worth seven, so that'd be 14 more points that uh, I don't currently have. Anyways, let's go Player 1. Straight Road! So, speaking of opening up my field... I'm going to do that, and I'm going to take the road. Why not? Then I'm hoping I can curve this out and then start building up. And uh, that's a potential that could happen, anyways. So red, red road, red road. Let's have red do that. Take one, two, three, four points. 
one, two, three, four points because he's being so player one. Actually, I could finish this, right? Then I can have a road built in there, and then that's all fine. Actually, he's already touching this field, so I guess that doesn't matter. So, yes, I, let's do that. Let's give uh, green six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. And red draws this tile. Ooh, more acrobats. Does red want more acrobats? I'm going to assume that's a big old yes. So, where do we want to put that? Maybe there. Hey, and guess what? Since this is a regular meeple, when the circus is in town, when the circus moves, rather, uh, this meeple that is an acrobat will be getting the points that are on here as well. So there you go. So you can have one, two, three acrobats there not being scored, and then the circus moves. And one, wouldn't you know it, one, two, three of those, uh, three meeples gets, you know, those bo those bonus points, and then everything else around it as well. So isn't that just lovely? Player one. is going to do this. Oh, look at that's a long road no one has. I'm going to just take it just because no one has it. Player two. Two. Do you just want to finish this? Because the circus moves. Hey, the circus moves. So, so you score for score first. So two, four, six, eight. Eight just goes to this meeple. That's how it is. You place the tile. You score the feature. Or the instruction book. Okay. So now these two meeples are on the uh, tiles surrounding that. So we've got three. So we got six points for those two. This is now done. Let's take another one. We don't know what it is. And, oh, player two is going to get six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, and this abbot is still there. But green is there now. Oh, dear. I totally meant to put a meeple there. That's one of the reasons why I put it there, so I could have a meeple there. So place the tile, score, place the meeple. Sorry, place the tile, place the meeple, which is what I did, score, then do the circus moving. So this was actually the first thing I did. Um, so I'm going to get another one, two uh, points for that. Player one, ooh, okay. Can this be put to better use? It has that potential. You can go for easy points there, or you can start opening this up over here because player two just decided to do that. And I can't open up anything else for myself, so I'm going to put my abbot there. Open that up. So player two. Ooh, ooh, the circus moves again. Okay, so let's keep it in the family, as it were. Okay, so this does close that off. And I'm going to take... No, I'm going to put a meeple here. Okay, so that is the move I do. Okay, and this is completed. The abbot, what can you do? So nine points for red, one, two, three, and six. So red's already at 50 points, uh, 56 points. Now only green and uh, red are gonna be getting whatever amount of points this is. Six, ooh, six each. So six is 12 and six is 40. So we grab another animal token and place it on the brand new tile that I just laid down just now. Um, that's good. So this 
is why you would not want to score a uh, a, a, a meeple a pyramid a meeple pyramid right away green oh <laughs> green you can grow up here because this field goes around there that is possible let's throw a wide net is that what you're saying okay so Red player two has some city. Okay. Well, let's stay by the circus. Oh, let's put the ringmaster by the circus. Player one. Hmm. Just go ahead and, yep, just go ahead, finish this, take the four points, and good luck with your city. One, two, three, four. Player two draws a circus. And is perfect, perf, perfectly, uh, I was going to say perfectly fine with that. And it's one either way. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can't claim that. I'm not going to claim a field. The green already has it. No. So I could just take the two points. There, I scored two points. Now. Three. Three, three, three. For nine, that goes there. For nine points altogether, uh, 23. Grab another animal token and put it on the brand new circus location. Okay, that is layer two monopolizing the circus. Good thing I had player one to demonstrate because player two is monopolizing. Jeez. Player, oh, you get an acrobat. Okay, so I can open that up. And this closes off field, so this won't go through. Um, but I can open this up, like I said. Open up that way. Uh, that's a bishop. But yeah, layer two. Okay. Okay. Layer two. Would love to be able to put that there. That's not happening though. gives you, if I do, I can do this. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. Okay, so I can take this road, take the two points, and only the ringmaster is gonna be getting four points. That's 29. Oh, that's 29. Okay, so we're done with this. New animal. Okay, uh, so great. Uh, player one, Hua. Ooh, again. Let's see. If I just do that, or or oh oh oh, talk about opening up a field. Okay, so I am gonna do that. Place that there, and then. This, uh, I assume this cuts off right there where the building goes to there. That's fine. That still opens up this. And actually, if you put a field there anyways, um, this would connect to that when a field is put there anyway. So I'm not worried about that. All right. So player two, bit of curvy road. Can I, I, ooh, mm. But it's not okay. It's not worth messing up a city. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put that there, not to take the road, and instead 
put a meeple on this pyramid, which is now done. Oh. Nice. Player two, uh, one, curvy road. Okay, let's do that. Let's have our own acrobats here. And player two. Hmm. Okay, player two is going to take. Yeah, is going to add another meeple to this. Uh, by this circus. So, like, I could have put that there and that'd be all fine, but let's have two meeples there. That's why. So, player one. Hmm. Ooh. Talk about. Oh, I'm going to do this. Opening up. I'm going to put my ringmaster on the monastery. So it works like a regular meeple. You have to have the whole thing filled in. Uh, but once it's done, he gets the extra bonus points. Player two. Ha! I don't know what the ha was for. Uh, yeah, it does have an abbot. This might be an easy points thing to do this time. Yeah, I might go for easy points. I'm going to put the abbot there. Yeah. Player one. Okay, nice. Okay, so this field had just opened up into here now. Lovely. I'm going to do this, though. I'm going to put that there. Okay, so player, so player two. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I could and go two, three. No. I'm going to say no. I'm just going to take the two points for that. Uh, so, yeah, I placed a meeple down so that Abbot stays there. Player one. Do that. Player one is satisfied with that, I think. And oh, no meeple. So I have to do something. So I'm going to score this. Instead of placing meeple, I don't have any meeple. So instead of placing a meeple, I'm just going to take 15 points. Two, six, nine. So we're at 100. Actually, I think we're at 50, right? It's red who's at, f yeah, it's red who's ahead, and they're at 50. Okay, so we're both at 50 now. And this is done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is uh, 9, so 16. Player 2, red. Ooh, player 2. I mean, you want to finish a city, but you want to finish a city. Is now the time to, to be doing that? The circus has been so good to us. Here's hoping the circus... Actually, the circus will be still good to us in the future. So, uh, player one. Who now has meeples can finish this city here. No, I don't know if that's worth it. Maybe do just finish the city. Let's get ourselves some points. Or there's still plenty of tiles, so let's start a new city. So we can start finishing this as well. Or just put it that way. Or put it this way. 
Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, player two has some road. Does not have any road right now, and that can't go there. I'm going to do that and take two points. Player one. Ooh. Could do that. Do I want to do that? I could do this. Do I want to do that? I want to do this more than I want to do that. Sure. Player two. Player two. Could just get my abbot back. Get three points. You have a maple still. I don't want to mess up my road there. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do this. Take three points for this and the nine points for the abbot. So I said one, two, three points for that and the nine points for the abbot. Player one if I did that, did not take the road and just continued that. Player two let's do that. See if we can make a mega city maybe while the circus is in town. Player one. Roads always mess me up. Maybe I've just finished this. Let's do it. Because I have a meeple, so that's six points. And 22. Red. Shoot. It's not going to help me. I can do this. Okay, it's something. I can do that. I'll do that and just leave it. Green. Get some road. Let's get this meeple back. One, two, three, four for green. 26 then. So player two. Let's do that. Player one is drawing a tile. City. Let's do that. Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, no, Abbott. Where's your Abbott? Oh, it's over there. And I'm not, if I'm not placing a tile, I'll take the six points. If I'm not placing a, a, a meatball, I mean. Player two. I keep getting these. I don't want to have a gigantic willy out of control city, though. Big is nice, but out of control. Player one, oh, curvy road. So if I do that there, don't worry about the abbot. Place that there. There we go. Player two. Okay, so yes, let's close this off. That's all I can focus on right now. Oh, I didn't play a, so I'm going to take my meeples back. So 15 points for that. And, and 10, 110. Player one, Kirby. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Let's close this off so that we can get this meeple back. Uh, right now, that's not worth placing a meeple, so I'm going to recall these meeples and give myself 15 points. 47, 47. Player two. Wow, seriously. This is exactly the piece I need. Red is focused on what they are focused on. All right. 10, 19. Green. Uh, 
May oh, no, I do that. Okay, you have plenty of meeples. Do you want to place one on like a road? Just see what happens. Uh, red. Okay, uh, that does not close up there. Let's close down here then. Uh, yeah, you do have your abbot back. Okay, so player one, straight road. That's going to go right there. Um, do you have, oh, you have your abbot. Okay, do you want this road now then? Two, two. Player two, Caravy Road. Oh, I can work with that. Just making sure. There's a circus. Okay, so only a thing there will. Okay, so we're gonna might as well take that. Player one. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so player two likes getting this. It doesn't finish the city, but you just need the one piece, but it does have to be one of the right pieces. So green, uh, red's just gonna take that city. Um, green, the circus finally moves. Okay. Now, what are we gonna do? Are we going to maybe close this off? Finish this city. I'm thinking that's probably a good choice. Let's go, yeah, yeah, let's go with it. Anyway. Two, four, six, eight. Eight, four, green. One, two, three. The last is five. So that's 105. Okay. Uh, so that was auto scoring. I think I'm going to take my bishop to score as well. Why not? To get one more point or maybe two more points when I could get another five points elsewhere somewhere. Okay, so we've scored, we've placed. Now, oh, have we placed? We have not placed. Place according to normal rules. So now it's placed. Now the circus moves. So now, that's a lot of nows. We have one, two, three. All red. Three times five. Ooh, red gets 15 points. So let's grab another animal token, place it on. Ooh, green is uh, doing well with this circus so far. Red. Red is very well aware that they do well with the circus. Sure. Green. So green has this field, yeah, down here. So if I place, oh, oh, ah, but that messes that up. Green has a lot of field. I'm just trying to maximize. What I can do with field. So you go up. No. Nope. But you could build. No, nope, like that. You could build something up there. You put a road there and boom, you're up there. Okay. Let's, let's hope for that. Okay. Player two, red, circus moves. So I cannot go there. Hmm. Let's place that there. Let's put that there. Nothing scores then. So now the circus scores. So green, there are two green and two red on and around, immediately around the uh, circus tile. And those, oh, that is where that will go, each get three. So six points each. 
one that's close to 40, and six points close to 18. And we draw a new one, and that is where it was, or where it's, where it's going to. Um, okay. Player one. Curve road. Let's get our meeples back, right? One, two meeples. One, two, three, four, five, six points. Or green, 24. Red, curvy road. Okay, so red only has this as road. I'm not going to bother moving. We got the last of it. So player one. That doesn't finish that. Play, oh, I can't do that. Player one will not be placing. Oh, that's too far away. Will not be placing by the circus. OK. What can you do? Let's continue this. And let's set ourselves up to ensure that we're able to build up into there. And the circus moves. Isn't that lovely? So in this case, there is one, two um, reds and one green. So and they each, each meeple gets a oh, flea circus. One, one for red and one for green. All right, flea circus out of the way. So. The new circus is way up north. So red, player two. I guess just finish this one then. Uh, oh. oh, but you'd have a bishop, okay. Or abbot, see, okay. So it's four points. One, two, three, four points. Green. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do I put this on that city? There is a somewhat kind of nice chance that I'll actually finish that city. There is a chance. Player two. Let's just go with that. Player one. Curvy road. I want a straight road. You know what? I am going to move this over. I didn't realize how uh, far over it was. Okay, so anyways, player two has... I can just mess with player two. Or, oh, sorry, sorry. Or I can just go ahead and just take that. Or play, oh, play that. Hmm. I would need two straight roads to be able to do that, and it would both have to be straight roads. You know what? I'm not, that's too much. Player two. Player two wants the circus, but is, can get the circus, but like one meeple worth. So let's take two points, one, two, and I guess that's where it's going to go. And there are two green maples, and each one gets three points. So that goes there. So six points total for green, 31. Player two, oh, that was player one. Player one now goes... Player two wanted to put that there. 
for one. Maybe mess with player two. And uh, you need three specific sides, not just two specific sides now. And let's remind you that I'm the one that did that. Player two. Okay. Player two is not looking like they're going to be filling out a bunch of uh, spaces. Green is able to place up here. Red, straight. Well, I guess we're just going to do that then. Green. We'll do that. Might as well. Red. Okay. Let's see if we can start closing that up. Green. Circus moves. Oh, this is done. I was just looking. This is done. So that's nine points. Green. So that's 40. Maybe let's do this. Maybe let's put it up here. We'll score the two points for the road. One, two. And the circus moves. So there is one red meeple by the circus. One red meeple gets four points. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that's 150 for red. I'm going to have to deal with that. Goes back up there. And circus is up there. And player two adds a 50. Oh, adds a 50 to uh, their um, uh, score tiles. Player two has a road. I guess we just keep going up the road. Player one. Hmm. No, I don't want to add to that city. Uh, do I just start? Oh, well, let's, mm, let's, I have a meeple, so let's just build something. I still need to get up there. I need to build something. And I have this field down here. I'll just do this down here then. There, red. Okay, okay, that closes off two spots, so we can one here and one down below here. Okay, player one. Hmm, it does end up closing off this city. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, sixteen for green. That's eight and eight. And boom, that's 150 for uh, green right there. All right, so green player two uh, ends it with a monastery. That is fine, because there's an empty space there. Like I said, I'm not moving the board. I'm just going to do that. So that would get seven points at the end of the game. Yeah. And finally, player one moves the circus. could close this off and get my ringmaster back, but it's the final turn. Uh, let's have you not get four points and have you get one instead. Because although my because my ringmaster is still going to get eight points plus one uh, two points for the two other spaces. So four points for this one for scoring. One, two, three, four, plus the circus moves. And there is a green meeple who will be getting five points. One, two, three, four, five, and that was here. Okay. And two feeling slightly flustered that they didn't get that uh, city built. And although Red got a strong lead, unless I really messed up and just forgot what the scores were, Red is behind. So let's uh, do red score. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for red, so that's ten. And one, two, three for that 
have it. That's 13. And this road is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 15, 19. And like I said, this is 7 points, 26. And the ringmaster, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, 42. Oh. Oh, and these meeples count for that as well. And one point. And yeah, Red ended up not playing the field game this game. Okay. They played the circus game. So one point for green. Nine. Okay. Eight points for this ringmaster for um, uh, monastery scoring. And one, two, so two, four points for uh, circus and um, acrobats. One point for road. One, two, three points for road. One point for city. How many cities ended up getting completed as a part of this field? I'm good with 11. So that's 33 extra points. That's, uh, what's that, 15, so another 18. Yep, so that's 218 versus 193. There we go. Thank you very much for joining me as I did this playthrough of uh, Carcassonne's 10th expansion, Under the Big Top. Join me now as I give it my Mega Carc ranking. All right, so what did I think of Under the Big Top expansion 10? Well, let's start with the circus. So you simply place a, a basically bonus token underneath it, and when the next uh, circus tile comes out, you get the bonus points. Uh, for any meeple is going to get those bonus points, including the acrobats. Including the acrobats, it's actually really nice that they did that. Um, so they would get four points per uh, per meeple that happens to be around the circus. So you can take into account that you might be getting bonus points if you place a tile by a, a circus and place a meeple by a circus. Uh, the points range from one to seven. So you can get an elephant, get a bunch of uh, nice seven points, or have a flea circus, womp womp. So it's nice to have extra bonus points. It's always nice to get uh, extra bonus points. Uh, but is that essential? Is the work you have to put into getting those extra few points uh, worth it? Um, I'm going to say not essential, but, you know, if you have it, you might as well. So that is the uh, circus. And the acrobats. What do I think of the acrobats? Um, acrobats is also not bad. I don't know if I like that you have to place a meeple um, beside the tile, but on the other hand, if you didn't do that, what would end up happening is people would just keep putting their uh, meeples on the tile, uh, pull them off, score points, and then just keep putting them on and just score, you know, 15 points uh, every turn. So Okay, so it's limited, so that's, okay, I understand why. It's nice, you score four, uh, five points per meeple, which is um, awesome. So you have the potential to yourself get 15 points just for placing a meeple on, on the uh, acrobat tile, uh, and uh, you only have nine opportunities altogether to be able to do that, and then you have to decide if you even want to do that. Uh, you probably want to put this out out in the boonies, as it were, uh, where nothing else is, uh, just to maximize the potential of being able to use it. So, not essential, though, but, like I said, it's still nice. Um, things can be nice without having to be, you know, I need, I need it so much. So, I definitely give this a might as well. And finally, the ringmaster. The ringmaster. Um, mostly a meeple, right? Um, but he also is required why you require to have him for this set um, every so often actually most of the time uh, when a major expansion comes out you can separate each section out and say this is this its own mini expansion this is its own mini expansion um, he's 
just a regular meeple um, if you are not using the circus and or acrobat tiles. So, I mean, really, okay, that's fine. So you can say, I'm going to use the ringmaster and he's just going to be a regular meeple. Okay, well, there, you just added a regular meeple to your game. Um, but if you want to use him for more than being just a regular meeple, you are going to have to have uh, at least one of these uh, minor, you know, the, the, uh, sections, parts um, of, of this full expansion to get the full um, use out of him. So uh, I can't claim him to be essential. I literally can't because he needs... To get full use out of him, like I said, you need you need you need these tiles. Um, otherwise, he almost is because if you want an eighth meeple just to be used as a meeple on your board, this is the guy. This guy is almost essential. Um, but no, I want to make full use out of him. But I it's in my head like I want another meeple. I don't know why I would want him that bad. So I can't say essential. I don't want him that bad, but I could. So that is the Ringmaster. Might as well. Thank you very much for joining me today on Carcassonne's 10th expansion under the big top. Have fun.